I want to know more about your mindset and how you keep doing this, how you keep birthing companies and fully, fully bringing them to fruition and success. Yeah. How do you get clear? Like, so how did you get that first download to create lively? Yeah. You know, I would start by earlier moments in my life, looking back that built up to it. You know, you're looking at someone that drove a U-Haul to New York City after college but had to live in Hoboken and ask for roommates from her first job. And I went to law school for two weeks, two weeks because my parents, you know, are from India and I thought I had to be a doctor, lawyer, investment banker. I tried it. It didn't work out. It wasn't for me after two weeks. And, you know, now I'm starting my second company in beverage from bras. Like none of these statistically make sense. I think where I got clear minded is I always had this curiosity about what if. And I think most humans live in a comfortable state of, well, oh, more or less how this is going to work out. I'm going to go this route where I find founders and entrepreneurs live in this space. Like, hold on. There's like this little path over here off the paved road. Like what's down there. I'm being pulled and drawn. I just got to like go see real quick and then I'll come back. And that go see for me, you know, has often led to holy shit, like this is way better. Like living in New York City is way better than being comfortable working for a retailer in Pittsburgh. And law school versus being an entrepreneur, I can't even imagine that my life could be this dynamic. So I think the simple way to answer your question, the what if not unpacking it would make me more uncomfortable than unpacking it and checking it and saying, I tried that. Have you had moments in your life where you weren't sure about what next step to take in your career? Yes. I mean, okay, let's start with Lively, right? People think that I worked for Victoria's Secret and then was so bright and said, oh, I'm going to do this different and better because of social media. No, in between those moments, yeah. there were jobs that I interviewed for that I fundamentally believed I deserved and was so qualified for. And I was completely told, no, no, thank you, Michelle. No, no, no. <laughs> and I was relentless. Those no's led me to realize, hold on, like, the universe and God is like nudging me towards a different path. Mm -hmm. Wake up, like try and understand what the world is telling you. You know, I was joking. I say I live in beta. You got to just constantly be trying things and seeing what makes that magic spark. Like my husband, like think about dating. How many people do you date until you end up with the one? You wait for the spark. Apartment hunting in New York City. How many apartments do you see? Scary ones, creepy ones, flooded ones. And then you walk in and it's like, oh, ah! like, how did that happen? <laughs> right? You wait for the spark. So in those moments where you're waiting for the spark, do you have practices that you do in your life that help you get clear and not, not consume just all the noise? Like how yes. do you get quiet and centered and allow the thoughts to come in? Yeah, I wish, and you know, this wish may come true one day. I wish I meditated. I honestly, I don't. However, my form of meditation is every day I wake up, my kids go to school and I go outside. Like this morning, I grabbed a gorgie. I grabbed this one, to be honest, because I was like, it's a hurricane day here. I walked in the wind and I just walked until my adrenaline and my heart was pumping and the palm trees are waving at me. And I'm just like so grateful to be here. Once that gratitude sets in, the clarity comes through and you're just like the things that are bringing you joy, the things that you're like, oh, I'm so thankful for this and for that. You get to a state of mind where all the noise and the nonsense no longer makes sense. And for over a decade and a half, I run on the beach. I run on the sand. And, you know, I always tell my husband, you get to this like euphoric moment. You're looking at the ocean. The ocean changes every day. Yet in 10 years, it hasn't. And you're like, this world is so much bigger than us. We need to really understand our place to be here is one out of like just sheer gratitude and a gift. So what do I want to do with this gift? Like, what do I want to do with it? And that's how I get there. I'm like, I like to build brands. I like to build companies. Yeah. That's so wackadoodle that I love like carrying cans and figuring out how to put aluminum in other people's hands. But the story and the message behind what the brands that I build represent, that's what you know keeps me going. That's my spark. 